Welcome to the seventh day of deck profiles and goodies. So for this giveaway, I actually have not got the package in yet from Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market. Mail is really slow, and there's a lot of card game goodies in there for Yu-Gi-Oh! There's a combination of Genesis Impactors um, and some other boxes. So what I'm going to be doing is, I don't know what the product's going to be. Uh, we're going to say Genesis Impactors for this. So probably going to be getting about half a box of Genesis Impactors for this. So, guys, if you want to get entered in to win that, leave a comment down below. Tell me, of course, how you guys are enjoying the 12 days of deck profiles. As we start heading on into the latter half here, we're going to start gearing up the prizes. I got some interesting stuff coming from Gem. And as I said, on Christmas Eve, we're going to be gearing up for one of the craziest tournaments of the year. I have a lot of cool goodies and stuff head into the pool that night for everybody just to have a good time and enjoy themselves and I honestly think it's going to be a lot of fun so make sure you leave a comment down below make sure you like this video and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel I'd like to get to 85k before the end of the year but even if it doesn't happen I'm not going to be mad now let's dig on into a pinkish shirt Robbie in his grand occurrence shall we all right so this fun little deck is something that my friend Cloud has been messing around with for a little while, and he actually has been having a fairly large amount of fun with this deck. Um, I've seen a lot of interesting things come out of Mutants lately, and I mean, there's, what, what, what am I supposed to say about Mutants? I still think that the deck lacks a little bit more. I think the Dogmatica package kind of aims to round out some of the issues that this deck has. Now, that being said, though, is this deck going to be absolutely supreme tier one, unga bunga, me best deck in room? No, not at all. But I think if you want a chance to have some fun and explore different options available to you in today's metagame, this is not a bad thing for you. So this is day sevens. Yeah, day seven, right? Yeah. This is, yeah, day seven. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. A nice little addition to your combo deck. And then we have triple copies of Ecclesia the Virtuous. Nothing more virtuous than having a 15-15 monster that grants you the ability to search for some of the most powerful trap cards in the game. Getting those defensive options against the opponent forcing two commitments really can put you into a game-winning position. We have one copy of Dogmatica Fleur de Lis, the Knighted. Another fantastic card that you can off or add off of your 1515, giving you the ability to special summon it and negate an effect. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so cringe, I know. We also have the one copy of Dogmatica Maximus, aka Search for My Shit All Package, and Punish My Opponent. It's actually really cool just how bonkers good this card actually can end up being in your strategy. Now, extra deck stuff. We have one copy of Mutant Arsenal. So it cannot be special summoned except with the effect of a mutant card. You can still hard tribute this, though, by the way. Um, I just want to say that if you're hard tributing in mutants, you're probably losing the game. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, but it's something that you can do. All right, your opponent cannot target this card with trap effects. Whoo wee We know how bad those are. You can only use each effect of the following mutant arsenal once per turn. When your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, we can banish one card from your hand or field and then target one card in the field and banish it. If this card's owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card, we can target one of your banished mutant spell cards and actually recur it back to the hand. The cool thing about this though is it, it you get to banish a monster. Um, bad thing is it, it it doesn't freaking negate the effect. So if you do this on like a Hulk or something, they're still gonna get a special summon the monster. So I mean, one more extender, they're they're back into the game. So I guess, but at the end of the day, eh. M mutant beast, once again, cannot be special summon except with the effect of a mutant card. Your opponent cannot target this card with monster effects. Crazy. All right, you can only use each of the following effects of this guy once per turn. When your opponent activates a spell card, quick effect, we can banish one card from our hand and negate that activation, and if we do, banish that card. If this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, we can target up to one of our mutant trap cards and add it to our hands. We get back a recursion 
on the trap with this, which is actually not bad. Also, getting the spell negation is pretty free real estate, honestly. Alright, our little specimens. Alright, so MO5 here. Remember, MO5 is monster, and then spell and trap, which is actually kind of cute. So, MO5 here. This card is normal special summon. We can add a mutant monster from our deck to our hand. Alright, so you get a free search. Now, we contribute this card. Banish one card from your hand or face up on the field. The special summon from your hand or deck based on the banished card. So if we do a monster, we get beast. If we do a spell, we get mist. And if we do a trap, we get arsenal. It's pretty easy stuff here. Uh, ST46 here. If this card is no more special summon, we get to add a spell or trap card from our deck to our hand. And then we can tribute and banish one to special summon based on what we banish. So, monster, we get beast. Spell, you get mist. And if you do trap, you get arsenal. But once again, nobody really cares about mist. Mist isn't that good. But, you do get the ability to have access to the other two. Which, I'll be honest with you, between the two of these... Um, these are probably going to be your better ones. Poor Mist. We also have triple copies of Gamma. A hand trap. Card's good. We have one copy driver, one called by the grave, one E-Telly, and then our little other support we have. So, Mutant Evolution Lab. On activation, we can special summon one of your level 4 lower mutant monster from your hand, or that is banished. Alright? And it sucks so much because it's not a once per turn. It's on activation. All right, that's my only gripe about this card. Mutant monsters you control gain 100 attack defense for each banished mutant card with a different name. Sad day. Once per turn during your main phase, you can place one mutant monster from your hand on the bottom of your deck. And if you do, draw one card. The big thing with this is when you get these thick bricks, like... Mr. 3K and 2400 here that don't have the ability to summon themselves. When these guys get clumped into your hand, you have an immediate out option to at least burrow them back into the deck and then recapitalize on getting a mulligan and a nice refresh to make sure that while they're back in the deck, you unclump the hand and you get a little bit more. I kind of wish we would have the ability to get more than one, but I guess Cosmo Tom can do it. We have triple copies of Nadir Servant with one terraforming. Triple copies of The Punishment, because this card's insanity. Triple copies of Ice Dragon's Prison, and then we start getting into the, the crazy good stuff. Mutant Cry. During the main phase, either yours or your opponent's, you can fusion summon a mutant monster from the extra deck by shuffling fusion materials listed on it from among your cards in your graveyard and or face up banished. So, you're going to be able to make Thicky here during the opponent's turn. Then we have two copies of Mutant Expansion. When this card is activated, you can t add, or take, a level 4 lower monster from your deck and either add it to your hand and special summon it. If you level 8 or higher mutant monster or monsters you control will be destroyed by a card effect, we can banish this card from your graveyard instead. So, we actually have two extra e tallies to make sure that we can capitalize and do things, because currently e tallies at 1 in the TCG. So we have to use the in-house archetype. All right, and then you get self, uh, a self-replacement effect to make sure that your monster floats. I'll take that. Then we have one schism here, so that's the main deck. Extra deck, we have one secure guard now. One Al Mirage, one Nova, and one Omega with one Titan Clab. And then we ha get into the super big stuff. So if you somehow are able to make ultimateness, I mean, with all of your big guys. So it's three level later higher mutant monsters to make this. So straight off the bat, good luck. When a card or effect is activated, quick effect, you can banish one mutant card from your hand, graveyard, or face up on the field of the same type, monster spell, trap card, to gain that activation if you do banish that card. If this fusion summon card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card, you can add up to three of your banished mutant cards, one monster, one spell, and one trap card to your hand. So at least it floats. I mean, value, I guess. And then we have Synthesis. This is the best card. Two mutant monsters with different attributes. If this card is fusion summoned, we can target one card on the field and destroy it. Interruptions during the opponent's turn. When your opponent activates a card effect, quick effect, you can activate this effect. For the rest of this turn, this face-up card is unaffected by the effects of opponent cards of the same type, monster spawn trap card, 
as that card. If this fusion zone card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card, we can add one mutant card that is banished to your hand. So we actually get a free float out of this, which is pretty good. Then we have one Macabre, two Nintis, one Winda, one Construct, and one Apclone. Side deck, we have triple Ancia, one Pinkertops, triple Droll, triple Nibiru, triple Cosmic, one Duster, and one Red Rebuto. Wrapping up, well, your seventh day of tech profile and goody. Yes, get entered in down below. Come on, take take my stuff. Take it all. I'm trying to I'm trying to be Holly Jolly Robbie Nicholas over here. And ain't nobody trying to take my stuff. It's sad. You can't even give this free stuff away. Wait a minute. Guys, please leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys get into today's contest. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here tomorrow for the next day of goodies. Peace out, guys. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Trouble Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.